Hey guys, how's it going? It's Apid Eric. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here in mommy's basement with my gray comfy shirt on. We are going to follow up on some news. I took most of the weekend off. I was kind of like, oh, you know what? Let's sit and let's chill. Been working hard. I had a nice little Saturday off today, Super Bowl Sunday. So good luck to whoever your team is. If you're betting on the winner, uh, me, I'm going to be sitting back and enjoying it. Uh, you know what? I figured... Let's release something, even though it's probably not going to get watched because of the Super Bowl. <laughs> but let's go ahead and talk about, this is a update to the GameStop Reddit stock situation. It is interesting. We're going to read this from NME. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, feel free to hit that subscription button. So Robinhood CEO Valdemir Tenev is also expected to join the hearing. The Reddit investors asked to testify before Congress. So if you guys haven't been following... If you've missed it, <laughs> the whole chaos behind the whole GME stock and Robin Hood and just everything going crazy, which I'm in Dogecoin, by the way, right now. I'm investing in Dogecoin. Um, it's been chaotic, nevertheless. Even Hollywood is about to jump on this and make some movie action about it. So... Let's read what's going on. So Reddit investor Keith Deep Fucking Value Gill has been asked to testify before Congress as part of the GameStop stock saga. As PC Gamer reports, U.S. Representative Maxine Waters, who is also the chair of the House Financial Services Committee, wants a meeting with key players involved in the recent GameStop stock market saga, including Gill and Robinhood CEO Valdemir Tenev. The, has said that the hearing is going to be educational and a learning experience for everybody in an interview with Cheddar. Man, typo. I, so I had a stutter over there. V has. Come on, enemy. So, yeah, um, I remember hearing rumblings when the stock thing first happened. People were saying the government was going to step into it. And I, and I was telling my live chat, I was like, hey, guys, just remember... This stuff will cause concern and it'll start getting regulated and higher up. So screw everything up for everybody. And it's, it's nevertheless, they are stepping into it. You saw the situation go down. I think Robin Hood, uh, I, I don't like how they handled it. I don't like how Robin Hood handled it. I believe Webull did the same thing. There was a few different companies and apps, broker apps that, that did some stuff like limiting buys and limiting the stocks and doing all this and and i just did not like what they did in regard to that i i thought it was fishy i think the situation showed a lot of insider trading uh things like that it was just something that was weird so to continue on says we understand what's being said about robin hood and why it did what it did in terms of limiting the buying waters continued we understand that the hedge funds have lost a lot of money we understand that the shorting is a big issue and a big conversation, but what a lot of people didn't know about is the short squeeze, and so we're going to learn an awful lot. So I am not too familiar with the lingo and the term and the verbiage of what a short squeeze is or what anything happens uh, involved in the stocks. I'm, I'm not a stock expert. <laughs> I, I casually play the stocks by putting a couple hundred here or there once in a while. Um, as far as things go right now, I'm not at a major loss. I'm still in a big, a, a decent sized gain, although it was nice when GME was close to 500. Um, but I still have uh, a fair amount of a game, a gain on, um, my stocks overall. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not too familiar with the whole idea of what hedge funds do and what short squeezes are and all that stuff. So when this was going down and I was reading Reddit where everybody apparently in Reddit is a stock expert, <laughs> I, I was just getting confused because I felt there was too much he said, she said and different things going on that were just hard to detect and, and figure out what was going on because again let's be honest a situation like this hasn't happened <laughs> at least in recent times this was a situation that just came out i don't think we're ever going to see something like this again so uh to continue the continue the article it says despite water's request gill has not been confirmed to appear before congress just yet water's confirmed to cheddar that gill is on her list to be present but they have not confirmed all of my list yet 
So she's requesting a GameStop representative be present for the meeting too. So she's getting a little bit of everybody. Who knows what the meeting is really for? Is it to to control or regulate the stock market from from this happening again? They're up to something, guys. When government gets involved, don't trust it. <laughs> That's always the thing. When the government steps in and tries to regulate stuff, don't trust it. That's that's my concern. Um, I'm, I'm against government regulation on a lot of things. So to go on, this says, Gil is said to be part of a group of Redditors from Wall Street Bets who uh, banded together to raise the price of GameStop shares. This was supposedly a concerted effort to ruin plans for hedge funds like Melvin Capital Management that were short down the retail stock. So basically the whole idea was I guess they betted that the stock would drop a lot lower and it ended up increasing because Reddit banned against them. And uh, yeah, it, it just caused a whole bunch of issues and stuff. This also goes on to say Deadline reported that a Hollywood film depicting the recent GameStop saga is reportedly in the works. We did touch that on the other day. Let's go ahead and click this article. So this is what has happened. It says uh, GameStop stock market is reportedly being turned into a film. Grime shares financial pro, you know, what happened, blah, blah, blah. So basically it went up. The stocks went up from like under US 100 to 350 um, or more, but then by February, I, I think it was close by 500 when I saw it last. Then it dropped to 225 by February 1st. Um, I think last time I saw it today, it was around 66. Uh, I'm holding. I'm not a financial advisor, but I I will advise some of you guys if you have stock still, hold it. Do not panic sell. Do not do not be a bitch. Do not sell. Um, so basically what happened is a lot of people that were hedge funds, you know, huge institutional hedge funds betted that GameStop would, uh, basically, uh, fall in value. That's why they were wanting to short sell it, you know, cause let's be honest, GameStop didn't really have that good of a reputation coming into 2020. They've been closing stores. They've been having a lot of problems. Um, they weren't really performing not even like past this year i would say probably at least the last almost 10 years gamestop has kind of been in um a lot of uh i guess uh poor perception of of businesses <laughs> so people were short selling the shares of it thinking the stock would fall in value and then you had reddit go up and basically hold these positions instead of short selling them like large short selling them so they they bought up the available shares and and basically just raised it, it was kind of like a weird uh way of controlling the shares again i'm not too familiar i'm still learning if somebody has any more info on how to describe it comment down below but yeah so it looks like uh congress is stepping in and asking people to testify so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below guys i'd love to hear what you guys have to say I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.